Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBPost.com and in today's tutorial we will go over how to import the chart of accounts data transactions to a CSV file and upload it to a spreadsheet software program of your choice. Include an Excel file. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe to show your support for the channel. Let's begin. Begin by selecting File on the menu bar and when the menu opens, select Export and then Export Transaction to CSV. When the Choose Export Settings window opens, under Select Separator Character, select the comma option if it's not already selected by default and then select Next to continue. Here on the account selection screen, you have the option of selecting which transaction data files you want to export. In the right hand column, you can use the tabs on the bottom to make your selection. For example, if you only want to export a specific category of transactions, say for instance, you just wanted to export all the income data transactions. Select the income category account by clicking on it to highlight it and then click on the select sub accounts tab on the bottom. As you can see the income category and sub accounts are selected which is confirmed by the fact that only that section is highlighted. And you will also notice below it specifies the amount of accounts that have been selected for export. It says five accounts selected. But since in this tutorial I want to select all the accounts, I will click on the Select All tab. On the other side, you have the option of exporting your data transactions based on a specific date range. For example, if I only wanted to export all the data transactions that occurred between September 1 and September 30th, I would click on the Select Range and then under Start Date, I would click on the circle icon next to Choose Date and then click on the drop down arrow to bring up the calendar I could use to change the date to September 1. And I would do the same thing under the end date to change it to September 30th. But in this example I will select the select all date which will give me all the data transactions up until the present date. Luckily that's not much for this example because the file can be very large depending on how much transaction data you have. You may find you have to experiment with the date range options because what I found when I select all it didn't necessarily export the date in continuous numerical order. It was a little bit off. When you're finished making your selections select next to continue. On the choose file name for export screen in the left hand column choose where you want to save the file by clicking on the selection. In this example I have chosen to save the file on my desktop. Here you see I already have my desktop selected. And in the name field text box above enter a name for the file. I will keep it simple and enter my transactions. Now this next step is optional. But if you want to save the file inside a new folder, you can do so by selecting the file icon here on the right hand side. And when the text box opens, enter a name for the folder. And then click on Create. Now the way I can tell the folder has been created is because I see here across from desktop it has the name of my new folder I just created. When finished with this screen select next to continue. 
on the last screen select apply you should see a message that confirms your files have been exported successfully click on close to move to the next step here I see my folder with the exported file inside the next step is to open up your spreadsheet software I'm using LibreOffice Calc but of course you can use whatever spreadsheet software you have which is capable of importing CSV files including Excel and LibreOffice which is the free open source software that I'm using once you have your spreadsheet program open select file on the menu bar and then select open and navigate to the place where you save the exported CSV data transaction file and select it back on the spreadsheet it may take a few minutes for the text import window to open on the text import screen under separator option separated by tab comma and semicolon should be selected by default you can simply leave them selected as is and select OK the transaction data may take a few minutes before it populates the spreadsheet depending on how large your files are here I can see all my transactions which aren't very much depending on how much data transactions you have your file could be quite large you may find it more to your advantage to export the files by category which we went over earlier on how to do that or you can use the other option you have to export the files by date range here you can also see what I was talking about with the dates here is October then below is September and below that is October again I got better results when I selected the date range option and set it for the beginning and end of a specific month such as only the month of September or October and so forth now you can save the CSV file to your desired file format by selecting file on the menu bar and when the menu opens select save as when the save as window opens select the file format you want to save the spreadsheet as by selecting your software's list of options here I have the option to save my spreadsheet as an Excel spreadsheet as well as other formats I will save it as an ODF file now when I look in the folder where I saved the file I can see the CSV file that I originally exported and the new file format I saved it to now that I have the exported transactions data file saved in my programs file format I don't have to worry about having to go through the import text box to upload the files to my spreadsheet anymore that's all there is to it thank you for watching see you in the next video